yeah we already spoke about um surgical access to the chest okay we spoke about um teracotomy we spoke about stenotomy okay and um now we'll not really be talking about surgical access to this chest but just a collection of sternal bone marrow okay it's also just like a minimal surgery okay but you're not really going to cut any part of the chest but this one is just the sternum okay so um this is basically it um a um, collection of bone marrow from the sternum and why is it done is because the sternum is just a subcutaneous bone okay and it is um easily accessible it is just below the skin okay so now um we said that um, the subcutaneous position of the sternum makes it possible to place needle through the outer cortex into the internal or the medullary cavity and this internal medullary cavity contains what um the bone marrow okay so this is it placing the middle through the heart cortex this bone does hard cortex into the internal medullary cavity all right containing all those um bone marrow stuff so now and um, once the needle is in this position bone marrow can be aspirated okay you can draw the shoots of your um your needle and you see bone marrow in your syringe so now evaluation of this material under the microscope helps the clinicians okay to diagnose certain blood diseases all right such as leukemia you know basically when you are taking the bone marrow uh when you are taking out the bone marrow you are definitely taking out like um um let me say uh yeah when you are taking out the bone marrow you know the bone marrow forms blood okay so you are basically in for study of blood okay to study if there's anything abnormal with the individual's blood okay so that's basically it um taking out a uh, bone marrow from the sternum is basically for evaluation of of the bone marrow okay and to help the clinicians the doctors or the nurses or the lab attendants to know if there are any blood diseases okay so basically let me just add up let me just add up um the procedure can be done on any bone okay the procedure could be done on any bone okay but it chose the sternum because the ter the sternum outer cover is not really thick like let me say the humerus or the femur or other thick bones okay thick long bones okay so they easily um use uh, the sternum for this experiment okay i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture see you guys soon